Ali uh, ran over screaming, saying that she needs some help. As an off-duty lifeguard, it's probably the worst thing you can ever hear. I actually brought one person in to about waist height. There was another female then that was identified, so I actually helped to grab her in and bring her up onto the sand. And then obviously the lifeguard element kicks in. So it's not, as a lifeguard, it's not an unusual thing to do. It happens tragically a bit too often, really. The bit that changed my life with it all was the fact that I was working on a gentleman who had his entire family right there. Whilst I started CPR on the, the gentleman, there wasn't anyone else there that knew how to do CPR, so I was trying to instruct general passers-by uh, for the lady um, to see if they could start doing CPR. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult. Morgan Porth is a beautiful beach, a fantastic beach, for so many reasons. As a lifeguard or someone who potentially deals with these sort of situations, you put, you put them in a box and you tuck that box away. So obviously coming back here opens that box up, um, which has been cathartic today after five years to come and, and, and talk to you. three lives three lives being lost is is just shouldn't happen too many people in the, on this country don't know water don't know the effects of water how dramatically situations can change and and how that can lead to drowning Water safety is in our national curriculum, but it isn't being taught and hasn't been taught for the last 20 years. So we give them all the information they need. We train them to actually give at least one hour a year, which doesn't seem much, but it's enough to actually over the 13 years of their education that they're leaving school with a basic understanding to be able to make the right choices.